All right, what we're going to do today is try boot a MacBook Pro. Right now we are running Mac OS 10.47, as you can see. So what we're going to do the first time around, we're going to reboot it. We're going to say yes. We're going to hold down the Option key, and that's going to bring up Boot Camp. Notice how fast the Mac shuts down the Mac OS and reboots. Windows takes a little bit longer to shut down. So there's Boot Camp. We're going to go over to the Windows Partition, hit Return, and reboot into Windows XP. And Windows will take a little bit longer to boot than the Mac will, Mac OS. And it also takes a lot longer to uh, shut down. But again, this isn't parallels, this isn't virtualization, this is running natively on the MacBook Pro. And here comes Windows. After uh, the ugly start screen. And you can see I have an Apple backdrop on my Windows side. It's Even though it's running Windows, I still have to have a little bit of the Mac in there, of course. Now what we're going to do now, we're going to reboot it again. But before I do, I'm going to take an Ubuntu CD that I created yesterday. We're going to put it in, and we're going to hit restart. And we're going to hold down the option key. As soon as Windows is done shutting down. Unfortunately, there's no way that I found yet to reasonably install Ubuntu on the Mac's hard drive along with Windows and the Mac and have this a three partition system that Boot Camp could boot in one of the three OS's. Still looking into the possibility but at the moment this is the easiest way. You can also just hold down the C key to boot directly from the CD but we're gonna bring up the loader program of Boot Camp at the beginning here and what's kind of odd is, and you can see that even though this is Linux, this is Ubuntu here on the disk, it reads as a Windows CD. So we're going to go over to that, we're going to hit return, and we're going to boot up off the CD this time. And Linux will kick it started, loading the Linux kernel. Now this is starting from a CD so it's going to take a little bit longer to boot up than it usually would under um, if it was installed on the hard drive itself and even though it is slower it's by no means unusable it's not too bad to be honest occasionally for whatever reason um, it does crash booting from the CD maybe every fourth or fifth reboot I'm not sure why maybe my uh, CD is slightly damaged I've looked at it and I don't see any uh, scratches or anything usually I just clean the disk real quick and uh, it seems to cure it so maybe it gets little smudges that I can't even see with my own eyes and uh, prevents the quick booting but it's still going through its startup now I noticed that this line isn't really accurate because it will jump really fast here in just a second. It doesn't necessarily go at that speed all the way across. So for those of you who are at least curious about Linux and Ubuntu, I just like saying it Ubuntu. For those curious, you can download and install Linux on your Mac without messing with your hard drive. You can install the live CD and go to MyMac.com later this week and you'll see Klaus Wolf has an article about that with links on where you can get the software and all the information you're going to need but it's it's pretty straightforward just download Ubuntu Live CD I used Apple's disk utility program to mount it copy it to an actual CD and uh, burn it and now it's booting this MacBook Pro hopefully yeah that looks bad doesn't it don't worry it gets better in just a second 
and now here it comes now for those curious about power management no the fans do not run continuously when it's booted up into Linux I've read some posts that people were curious whether Linux will actually control the fans on the MacBook Pro will it just keep running everything's fine it runs just just as well as can be so now we're getting to the Linux desktop Ubuntu, and it's just about there and again this is running from CD-ROM so it would be much faster if it was actually installed on your hard drive and we are all booted up and you can play some games if you want you can uh, look at your system preferences I thought I quit that game uh, using this feels more like oh I don't know a, a computer back in 94 not necessarily a bad thing it just doesn't have the polish and uh, the robustness that I've seen from the Mac OS although I think I would prefer to use this quite honestly than Windows yep close that and we have our painting program and uh, Linux is a, a pretty neat OS if you haven't played with it I definitely suggest you give it a try it's fun and uh, to shut down you go up to the upper right hand corner which is not intuitive when you come from the Mac world or PCs for that matter but simply click that and it gives you the options you can restart you can shut down and we're just going to shut down and thanks for watching